I mentioned in one of my quick tips about the first thing you see when a car moves at a junction. I was only mentioning the first thing that you see, so I'm just going to go into a little bit more detail about things to watch for. So when the car is at the junction, of course, the first thing you'll actually see move is the wheel. But before that, you may, for example, see the guy's hands on the steering wheel. Sometimes before they actually move away, they start to get their hands ready to turn, or they may be dry steering even, which means they're starting to turn the steering wheel before they actually move. You will probably see their hands through the window on the steering wheel then. So there's a sign. There's also a possibility that they've got the handbrake on. And if it's on a slight incline, they will start to engage the clutch before they let the handbrake off and you may see the back end of the car dive a little bit. There's a possibility that the indicator could suddenly come on. So what do you do about it? Well, the first thing to do is check your mirrors when you see there's a car at the junction, even before you've seen any signs that he might be moving. And then, if there is a car at the junction, once you've checked your mirrors, you can move out towards the middle of the road, and he may then see that position change. <laughs> there is an upload where somebody's recommending that you weave in and out like this, which would actually get their attention, but it's ridiculous, especially if you've got four or five junctions. All you're going to be doing is slaloming everywhere. So a move from where you are now out to the middle of the road providing there are no oncoming cars is actually a good thing. Firstly because you may catch their eye. Catch? It's catch a word. You may catch their eye. Secondly because you're being further out in the road you're giving yourself more chance to react if he does pull out. When you get closer to the junction you can actually if you want to cover your front brake and if there is somebody quite close to you maybe tap your brake lights a couple of times just to warn them that you may be braking. Cover your horn, and if you don't think they've seen you, there is no harm in sounding your horn for a second or so. There's no guarantee they've heard you because they might have the windows up and they might have music on loud, but what's the harm in sounding your horn? If they do look at you after you've sounded your horn and you're going past, then it may be worth just giving them a little nod of courtesy just to let them know that you weren't being aggressive you were just letting them know that you're there i can't remember where the upload was but somebody had mentioned that they should build into a, a motorcycle or a vehicle a polite horn and that's the sort of horn that just goes um, excuse me mate the lights are on green <laughs> if you just sound your horn normally then they they could get offended Everybody's offended nowadays, aren't they? So there's some tips on what you can do if there are any cars at junctions. Of course, the big one I didn't mention is slowing down. By reducing your speed, you're increasing your reaction time. The problem is, though, if you reduce your speed too much, they could also be thinking that you're slowing down for them and pull out in the gap anyway. So do remember that when I give this information it's just literally coming out of my head I've sort of prepared it in my head before I've said anything but I've not written anything down so feel free to mention something that I may not have already mentioned or correct something that you think I might have got wrong and I will speak to you soon bye bye